Welcome to Modern Entrepreneur. Today we have Rachel Schnorr, Joseph Hahn, Amy Christine Mims, Holly, Carter, Jonathan, Kyle, Elliot, Amy Allen, and Mr. Gard. Welcome to Modern Entrepreneur. Today we have Sue Izzo. She was a pioneer at the age of 24. She was the first woman sports agent to launch a sports management agency in the male-dominated and cutthroat action sports arena. For over 20 years, Sue represented world-renowned professional athletes, Olympians, uh, ESPY winners, and X Games gold medalists. Now as Captainess America for Basic Bananas USA. She heads up the facilitation of their popular Blast Off Marketing Workshop and other small business growth programs for business owners and entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, thank you for having me, yeah, Landon. It's good, good to finally meet you. Yes, you are. Um, so tell us, um, I want to ask you about uh, X Games gold medalist, but we probably should skip that for now. Sure. Uh, <laughs> tell us about uh, what you're up to these days. And, um, and what's exciting about that for you? Absolutely, um, so in 2015, I had merged my sports management company with a larger agency, Octagon, mm -hmm. and took a little time off. Mm -hmm. And um, I had known Francisca Izaeli and Crystal Hall from Basic Bananas, met them on a very random Eat, Pray, Love trip in Bali oh, nice. over eight years ago. Uh -huh. And um, you know, I was really a big fan of Basic Bananas, which mm -hmm. are small business marketing educators. Mm -hmm. And they had approached me about joining them and opening up the US branch for Basic Bananas. Mm -hmm. and and so joined them about a year ago mm -hmm. and it has been so much fun um, working with all different types of entrepreneurs and small business owners mm -hmm. and helping them with their marketing and understanding their ideal customer, online, offline marketing strategies, yeah. you name it, we've been covering it. Yeah, it's awesome. So I've known um, Francisca and Crystal for a long time now and um, and they their programs are, are amazing. They, they've got it so like, kind of like organized and um, everything explained in a way that, you know, basically every small business can kind of understand and, and get into action around that um, I feel like they do a really good job. So it's exciting to have Absolutely. them over here. And um, actually my sister-in-law now, yes. as you know, is working with you guys. Which my is, partner in crime, Valerie. Yeah. Actually, I guess she's not, they're not married, are they? My <laughs> <laughs> brother's girlfriend, but uh, hopefully she's pretty around. much your sister. Hopefully, yeah, she's yeah. been around a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so tell me this: uh, you've been at this for a long time. I mean, uh, basic yes. managers for three, four years, uh, or whatever, a couple of Just, years you said, yeah. and then uh, but twenty years in sports. Yes. Um, you know, significant career now. If you could go back and kind of give yourself a, a piece of advice mm -hmm. um, that would have made the path, you know, smoother or sure. easier. Um, faster, what would it be? Um, you know, probably for me, I was self-taught. Mm. I did not go to school to become a sports agent. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, my parents told me to go to school to become a school teacher so when I got married and had kids, I could stay home sure. in the summers. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, um, you know, for me, I, I love that road of kind of being the rebel entrepreneur. Um, mentors would probably, you know, I didn't have as many mentors as I wish mm -hmm. I had. So I think that that's really important for young mm -hmm. people to go find people that have done it before them yeah. um, to seek advice. Um, also, I suppose maybe taking, I'm 100% Italian, so I'm very passionate. Mm. So maybe taking a little bit of passion out of, um, or emotion out of business. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, when I was going to bat for one of my clients, I mean, it was, you know, yeah. anything goes. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so tell me about mentors. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting um, challenge to both find a mentor that um, is worth, um, you know, investing the time in learning from. Absolutely. Um, somebody who's actually done it, not just mm -hmm. says they've done it. Um, but then also to get them uh, interested in spending time with you, right? Absolutely. How, how do you... Um, propose that somebody who's starting out find that magic balance and get them motivated to help? Absolutely. I think that, um, you know, people today are so fortunate with LinkedIn. Mm. That didn't exist when I was starting off in business. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it was just, you know, figuring out who a marketing director was and reaching out to them if I admire their work that they did and mm -hmm. asking um, if I could have coffee with them or what have you. Mm. I think in today's world, you know, you want to know what you want to get out of something, correct? Mm. Like what skill set or accomplishments has this person, you know, achieved that I want to learn from? Mm -hmm. um, and then come to them with kind of your, you know, three takeaways that you'd like to, you know, develop over time with this relationship. Mm -hmm. So I say preparation of knowing what you want to get out of it. Mm -hmm. I also think um, you need to you need to deliver. Mm -hmm. So if someone's going to give you their time and um, give you this insight, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to let them down. You mm -hmm. want to be sure that you're ready for a mentorship mm -hmm. and that you're ready to roll up your sleeves and do the work. You know, when I think about, 
you know, somebody approaching me and saying, uh, hey, can I, you know, will you be my mentor? I, my answer to that would be no. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, hey, will you have coffee is, is, is more likely. And then um, I can imagine, um, I can imagine, you know, it, again, if they said, you know, if, 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 will you be my mentor at coffee, I'd be like, actually, no. But if they said, hey, well, you know, I, you know, help me out with this one problem, or what do you yeah. think about this? And then they came back to me and said, hey, this is what I did with that information. Exactly. And, and actually just had it, you know, engaged in a normal human way. And like somebody that actually, actually, you know, took a piece of advice or an idea and ran with it, that starts to get engaging and kind of interesting, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, whenever I hear someone, whenever someone calls me and says, I want to pick your brain, mm -hmm. I just think of like a dead bird and someone like yeah, that's, plucking, I, like. My brain's picked all day long. It's so picked, forget yeah. about it. Like, yeah. don't ask me any questions after 5.30. Exactly. Um, so, you know, like I said, that's why the preparation is important, knowing what you want to get out of the conversations mm -hmm. and the relationships. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for me, one thing that I did, like with my mentors when I was first starting off, I mean, I was temping in the morning, um, and then I was working on my sports management company in the mm -hmm. afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't compete with people that were, you know, paying for mentors or things of that nature. Right. So I showed up, I was prepared, and then as my thank yous, I would cook them a pot of marinara sauce <laughs> and deliver it to their office oh. because that's you know, it was a personal relationship and cooking for me as an Italian is everything. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I was really appreciative and I didn't want to let them down and I wanted to t make sure to you know, I always kept in touch with them, yeah. you know, throughout my entire career. Um, and I feel very fortunate for the people I w have been able to work with and who have guided me and took a chance on me. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. That's, and that's, that's valuable uh, advice to, to um, remember to value those relationships. Not, and not, you know, I feel like in the social media world, you know, many relationships are pretty much throwaway. You know, meet somebody as, as, as quickly as you let them, let them go. You know, not, not our real life relationships necessarily, but but online it can be that way and um, to, yeah, to really turn that into a, a, an actual relationship that you value and, and nurture over time mm -hmm. is, is important. Yeah, one of the first books I read in sports management was about a boxing agent. It was called Robert's Rules. Mm. Um, and I remember, it was so long ago, and I remember he would write out um, note cards with the potential sponsor or contacts, you know, birthday, anniversary, what college they went to. So every time there was a moment that one of those dates came up or a favorite sports team played, mm -hmm. he would reach out because yeah. the whole customer relationship, yeah. it's not just, you know, when you want something, obviously. Right. It's maintaining that and being sincere through that. So I have a wonderful rivalry with the head of Nike Golf strictly over Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer. Mm -hmm. And this has been going on for years, uh -huh. um, back and forth. You know, we don't do business together anymore, but still, it's uh, it's classic. Yeah, You're not sucks for you today. Huh? Totally. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. The U.S. Open was fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me about what you feel like your unique skill set is that has sure. you be successful now coaching dozens, hundreds of entrepreneurs a year. Yes. yes. Um, you know, I always have believed that you, in order to be the best professional, you need to be the best person. Mm. That's how I've kind of approached everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we do that, we kind of give our all. We're ready to really do the work. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I value people. I love investing in people. And I think that's kind of one of my skill sets, being chameleon-like and being able to relate. Because um, it all starts mm -hmm. with the person. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely one attribute I have. And yeah. then I would definitely say, um, Always curious, mm -hmm. always learning. I'm just a dork in general. Mm -hmm. And um, also probably no, the, the word no. Mm -hmm. It's I always said it's no for now, not yeah. no forever. Yeah. So, um, you know, just didn't really take no for an answer. Very yeah. persistent. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I, that's funny. Um, Lena Requist, our uh, president of our company, uh, says something similar about no. She says, um, no doesn't mean no. No means they don't understand uh, what I'm saying. Yet. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> uh -huh. 100%. Uh -huh. yeah. Knowing a little bit about what the process is, the, uh, the way that um, Basic Bananas, which mm -hmm. is, you know, like we said, it's a, uh, a very significant um, sort of coaching uh, organization in Australia and now expanding to the US. Yes. They basically do these intro sessions mm -hmm. uh, where they sell, I think, what, $30, $40 tickets to like a half day. Yep. Uh, half-day event, and then they, um, the, they do a bunch of great education and then drive people into their programs. So um, my question is, sure. what's working um, today to get people into those um, 
those intro sessions. Oh, absolutely. So the marketing blast off workshop is what you're referring to, yeah. and that costs $27. Uh -huh. And we have those um, workshops going on in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, mm -hmm. um, San Diego, and now Austin, te Texas, it's, San Antonio, oh and man, Houston. It's happening. It, it is, is happening. happening. Wow. Yeah. So, um, that three and a half hour workshop is definitely an overview of marketing. Everything yeah. from, you know, taking a look at your brand, um, your positioning, mm -hmm. uh, who your ideal customer is, mm -hmm. your online and offline ecosystem. So it does one of two things. Either it is going, you learn something, you mm -hmm. walk away with a lot of light bulbs going off, mm -hmm. or it also reiterates things that you already know that you need to implement. Because mm -hmm. we know the difference between knowing and implementing sure. are two different things. Um, and then what happens there is that we have our 11 month program, which is the Clever Bunch, mm -hmm. and that meets in person every single month. And with that, we go through 43 different modules of marketing in mm -hmm. a sequential order. Yeah. So we start with the back end of where you're at right now, what your brand positioning, vision, and mm -hmm. then we carry that all the way through from um, you know everything from you know, your design to uh, what you stand for, what you want to be known for, your perception, yeah. um, pricing pyramids, copywriting, funnels, yeah. especially entreport funnels, mm -hmm. yeah. big fan of that. And um, and we see our business owners thrive mm -hmm. when they start working with entreport. Mm -hmm. So it makes life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So um, awesome. How do we get people in those $30, $30 uh, sessions? Um, so you can either we market heavily. Right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, through Facebook ads. Facebook ads. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're also aligned with a lot of different organizations. Uh -huh. um, I belong to WISE, which is Women in Sports and Events. Mm -hmm. Also Elevate, which is another women's networking mm -hmm. um, organization. Mm -hmm. So they're promoted through those as well. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to our website, which is basicbananas.com slash USA. Yeah. So um, so in terms of, of, of what's working, it sounds like Facebook ads and networking is the, yes. is the, is the key to the business mm -hmm. right now. It is. And, and also Instagram. We're seeing absolutely a big uptick on that um, because Facebook ads have increased in price oh um, gosh, and yes. we all yeah mm -hmm. and also our audience young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. are you know very visual so they yeah. are on Instagram and I use LinkedIn now tell me this so I uh, I follow Krista Chris, uh, um, Christo and Francisca yes just mash them together yeah it seems to me that they're just always posting pictures of themselves jumping in the ocean <laughs> and <laughs> totally and uh, riding their motorcycles around yes. and um, how does that turn into business? Um, you know, I've, I always say to Francisca, I really want to study your brain yeah. later on. I've never met anybody who is so productive mm. like she is. I mean, every single minute of every single day, she just loves what she does. Mm -hmm. So it's constant. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you look at their Instagram, like you're saying, and you're mm -hmm. like, how are you guys traveling the world and you know, running this business and growing it the way mm -hmm. you are at this pace? but they're doing work all the time. Mm -hmm. um, they're great communicators and yeah. they have built an incredible company culture that empowers the employees. Um, it's a family, it's a tribe. And yeah. so everybody is there to like lift them up and totally. taking it to the next level. But specifically like on Instagram, like sure. how does a post about Francisca jumping in the ocean turn into somebody going like, yeah, I'd like to come to your Clever Bunch or your intro well, session? Well, I'll tell you, freedom because she's created a business that she doesn't have to be locked behind a desk between nine to five. Mm -hmm. And I think ideally that's what we all want when we create businesses. Is so that people we, just like, they just research her. They're like, who is this, this chick? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna like, oh, oh, it's Francisca Zaley. And, Absolutely. Um, yeah. Interesting. And I think they always provide value. I mean, if it's not through their personal posts, it's definitely through the Basic Bananas um, Instagram, as well as our podcast, which is Pick mm -hmm. of the Bunch, which is amazing. And that's free on, on iTunes. Okay, so podcasting yeah, also. Yeah, podcasting. And then you have a Basic Bananas uh, uh, feed of its own uh, yes. Instagram account. We do. Uh huh. Interesting. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Um, so tell me this then. Sure. Um, as somebody who's you know building a you know significant new organization mm -hmm. here um, in the U.S. Um, using this framework, obviously that's 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 been built. Um, I mean, that's just the content. The sure. Building a business is still building a business Absolutely. out here. Um, what do you, what do you feel like um, is your cutting edge? What are you learning about right now? Uh, um, in terms of growing the business, I think you know where we go from a $27 workshop mm -hmm. to a year-long program mm. is helping business owners understand that the investment mm -hmm. in that because 
we are all, when we get into business, mm -hmm. we are we're, we're almost in a reactive state, right? You mm -hmm. talked about it earlier this morning about systems, and we always mm -hmm. say that, like, if mm -hmm. you do something more than once, you need to write it down on paper what mm -hmm. that system is yeah. um, and have that ops manual. Yeah. So we try to help business owners understand that the investment of working on their business and not just in their business, mm -hmm. um, how that is how you build a business. That's how you scale. Mm -hmm. So communicating that and mm -hmm. um, also you know, accountability in business. Um, that's something too, where it's so easy with to-do lists, how we go to the easiest tasks first mm -hmm. and put off the difficult and what we don't know later. Mm -hmm. So it's helping business owners, um, you know, understand to put the money making, the things that make you money at the top of the list mm -hmm. versus the things that are costing you money. Mm -hmm. um, and I think sharing so much of the technology and programs that are out there mm -hmm. for people to use. Because like you were saying earlier as well, you don't need to be punching the buttons yourself every single day. Mm -hmm. There are amazing ways to automate and create mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. So that's been really fun to be sharing with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you've been at this a while. Now you've got a whole kind of like new second career. Yes. Um, if you think, think, you know, forward 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it might be, yeah. um, what, what do you hope your legacy will be? Um, Definitely, I want people to say, because of you, I didn't give up. Mm. Um, and, you know, take a page from my book, which is mm. just, you know, just go do it, like mm -hmm. get it done. Um, but with a little bit more of the how, because mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of inspirational people out there, but mm -hmm. they don't tell you how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so really, I, it's really the legacy of caring and changing people's lives yeah. and the ripple effects. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And what do you think it means to be a modern entrepreneur? We've named this podcast after I love this it. thing. I love um, it. What is it. What is unique, you think, about this sort of moment sure. um, in, in entrepreneurship that may not have been so five years ago? I think it's such an exciting time. I mean, mm -hmm. anything is possible and all the resources are out there. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, it's just the timing of this and the momentum of being an entrepreneur couldn't be any more exciting. Yeah. We have so many amazing role models. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we have are learning about these role models that tried 10 times and mm -hmm. failed, but then finally made it, mm -hmm. right? So that like persistence. Yeah. Um, so there's amazing stories out there. That's interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and some of those stories, I mean, they were, that was always true, but some you didn't always know. No. Right, and now you can kind of watch it in real time, sort of. Absolutely. I mean, Sarah Blakely with Spanx, mm. I mean, it, if it wasn't for the, the production uh, place she went to and the gentleman going home and talking to his daughters mm -hmm. about this woman that came in with this concept, he probably wouldn't have made her Spanx, uh -huh. right? So it's like, People didn't believe in it. Yeah. So it's it's unbelievable the stories that are out there of how many times people were turned away mm -hmm. until they got that break. And that turns into basically motivation and inspiration, you think, that, that, that helps people today, that yep. uh, kind of like a support system that, that wasn't there exactly. not so long ago. Absolutely. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Well, cool. Sue, thank you so yeah, much for being thank here. You. It was really great to have you. Yeah. Would you uh, sign our wall? Sure, sure, awesome. sure, sure. Thank you. Just a bit of room. Yeah, that was right up.